The sound organization in Reason revolves around the song browser, sample browser, and the patch browser. The browser changes slightly depending on whether we're looking for songs, patches, or samples. To start, let's say we're looking for a song. Navigating the browser is very similar to navigating the file browser of your OS. The field above the file and folder list displays the name of the currently selected root folder. This will change as you click around the file and folder list, or you can choose your root folder using the pull down menu. If we try navigating deep into a few directories by clicking, we can see that we can use the arrow buttons up here to find our way back from where we've been. Pretty simple stuff, especially if you've been using computers for a while. The main difference between the Reason Browser and the one in your operating system is that instead of showing you all the folders and files on your hard drive, Reason selectively shows you only the folders and only the files that are relevant to what you're trying to do. If you're loading a song, it will only show you song files. If it's patches, then all you can see will be patches. And if you're looking for samples, then all you will see is samples, which makes things a lot easier. Over here on the left, we have the locations list. This is a list of shortcuts to areas on your hard drive. Any part of your hard drive can be added here. Just drag any directory from the file and folder list, and now it becomes a location. Keep in mind that it doesn't move the directory, it's just for easy recall. If you want to delete the location, you can, and once again, you're not deleting the directory, just the shortcut. Let's go to my recent tutorial example files directory, which I've stored as a location, and we can see a bunch of Reason songs. If I'm working on these songs frequently, I can store the location in the favorites list. I'll call mine Reason Tutorial. And now I can drag my favorite files here. Notice it doesn't copy the files there, it's just like a shortcut for easy recall. Just like the locations, when I delete a favorite, I'm not deleting the file, just the shortcut to the file. The key difference between locations and favorites is that locations are just a shortcut to a specific place on your hard drive, whereas favorites are shortcuts to files which can be from all over your hard drive. If we want to find a song, we can use the search feature. We can search our user locations list, all the local drives in our computer, or the current folder. Obviously, you want to pick the narrowest search possible to get the quickest result. That's the song browser, now let's look at the patch browser. To browse our instrument patches, use Command or Control I, or select Create Instrument from the Create menu. Navigating and searching work exactly the same way here. In the Locations window, we notice the Reason Factory Sound Bank and the Orchestra Sound Bank. These are refills, which are special directories of sounds that are embedded in the program so you can't access them normally with your operating system browser. The Orchestra and Factory Sound Bank came with Reason, but the idea is that you can add other refills available from Propellerhead. We've downloaded a couple free ones from the Propellerhead website. When you download refills, it's best to put them in your Reason folder. The Info and Details windows are designed to let us know the specifics of each refill. Using the Show dialog, we can just look for patches for the instrument we are using, or we can browse all the patches. What's neat about this feature is that it allows cross-browsing with patches. And what is that, you ask? Well, just click on the factory sound bank. And now you can browse through all the sounds. Notice we can see the patches now. Let's select Show All Instruments. If you try to load in a sound that can't be loaded into the instrument you're using, the correct one will be created in its place. For example, if I'm using an NNXT, then I load in a Malstrom patch. The Malstrom will replace the NNXT in my project. Favorites, in this case, work the same way as they did with songs. You can have your favorites list of patches for easy recall. Let's use our favorite bass sounds from our NNXT and Malstrom.
There. Now we can scroll all our bass sounds at once. You can actually play the patches while auditioning them in the browser, saving you the bother of loading them in. Just use the up and down arrows to move through them. By the way, if it's effect patches instead of instrument patches we want, just use Ctrl or Command F or select Create Effect from the Create menu. This works exactly the same way with all the possible effect patches for the effect units right at our fingertips. Be sure to see effects 1 and 2 for a detailed rundown of all the effect units in Reason. So that's the patch browser, now let's look at the sample browser. All right, let's go to the NNXT, and I want to load some samples in. Let's go to the remote editor and click Load Sample. Now we are browsing samples. Once again, the browsing and searching functions are consistent with the other two views. Now we can see the actual sample files, which were hidden when we were looking for songs or patches. If we click on a sample this time, we can use the Audition button to see what something sounds like. Let me show you something really neat about favorites. Click on our base favorites list. It's now empty again. So we have yet another base favorites list to store our favorite base samples, distinct from the base favorites list we have for our patches. Now when we go to save that patch, keep in mind that we can't save it as part of the recent factory sound bank or any other refill, but we can easily make a directory for the user patches we create and put it in our locations area. While we're on the topic of loading in samples, you will usually just open patches made for the specific device you're using, which is usually the rule, but there are some exceptions. With the NNXT, in addition to files made specifically for the NNXT, we can also use Dr. Octorex files and NN19 patches. The NN19 can read Dr. Octorex files as well, but due to its limitations, it can't read NNXT patches. When we're searching for Rex files, the browser calls itself the Rex file browser, but you can treat it as the patch browser for Dr. Octorex for all intents and purposes. Once we've loaded sounds into a song, they are now associated with a particular device. We get a full listing of all the samples that are used in the project and with a given device. Unassigned samples and self-contained samples will be discussed in our chapters on sampling and publishing your song, respectively. This concludes our sound organization tutorial. From here, you should be able to keep everything organized with no head scratching or surprises.